Do I look naked? I'm wearing a top, I promise. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about boobs. Specifically, the breastfeeding kind of boobs. Today's video is going to be all about breastfeeding. I am currently breastfeeding my second baby and she's nine months old and we've been going strong for nine whole months. So if you want to know all about breastfeeding, some tips, some tricks, some advice and um, how to breastfeed in public, any products that I recommend, what I use, how I've been getting on, what I've been doing, <laughs> don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff and let's crack on with the video. The first thing I want to talk about is bras because bras are super important but the bra actually plays like quite a big role and especially in you because yes you're breastfeeding you're doing the best for your baby but also you need to feel good whilst doing it and you need to like feel confident and I think the bra has lots to do with that. I've been breastfeeding a while now and it's like the second time breastfeeding so I'm quite confident like breastfeeding out about like and I can kind of do it in any sort of bra now but it definitely helped me with my confidence in the beginning if you've got like an easy to use bra then it's definitely going to help you breastfeed basically so i'm just going to show you a couple of bras that i used so in the beginning the best bras that i found were just really simple nursing bras this is quite an old one so excuse how junky it looks but there's no padding it literally is just a standard standard nursing bra and when i say nursing bra if you've not seen one before it basically has a clip here that unclips and this is really hard to show so it unclips and then your boob obviously comes out this little hole here and then this stays on your shoulder which is good because i'll show you another tip that i use with these straps in a minute and then when you finish breastfeeding you literally lift this little flap nice word back up and clip it back in place the reason i liked these bras in the beginning is they're very comfortable they're very stretchy there's not like much you know there's not much to them at all so there's definitely room for comfort definitely size up in nursing bras as well in the beginning you definitely want a size or so bigger just because you need to make room for the expansion <laughs> but yeah so this is by secret possessions and this is a 38e this definitely was too small for me actually by maybe week one or week two it fits me now like i'm an ef now but it fits me now because i don't i definitely don't get engorged anymore unless like i'm away for it from it for like a full day or something but i definitely recommend getting a size bigger and definitely a back size bigger as well because you don't want to be engorged and uncomfortable and to be fair i recommend like a sleeping like sports bra which is what i wear to bed but this definitely played a good role in the beginning and then as i got my confidence up in the beginning I started to wear more padded bras because obviously with these ones as well I will say you can see a breast pad outlining through them because they are so thin but if you're in the house or you're just starting to breastfeed and you don't particularly you're not particularly ready to feed out and about I would recommend this but for out and about I'd recommend something with a little bit of padding just because you can't see the outline of a breast pad underneath. So this is by the brand Blooming Marvelous and I got this online. As you can see it's just a black, black kind of t-shirt bra. Again no underwire, very minimal padding and then it's got like a nude frill. I've also got the same one but in white and I got this in a size 36F and yeah it's by the brand Blooming Marvelous. But I still wear this bra, it's super comfortable. I like to wear this to bed as well now. Um, I kind of stick to normal bras now, to be honest. But this one really did do me good. But this one isn't a nursing bra, but it is a maternity bra. Let me just do it, do it up. So this one is good in pregnancy and it's good like even if you're not breastfeeding like healing after birth so it's basically just a standard t-shirt bra but it's got no underwire in at all but rather than like take an arm out or something because it has no underwire you can like pull it from the bottom i'll try and show you so like when i'm out and about i don't mind like pulling the bottom out do you know what i mean i'm like pulling it out the bottom and feed it. and then you can just lift your top up from the bottom just slightly and I really like that because it's got no underwire it's really easy to do and it's a comfortable bra but it still gives you like the lift and the look that you have like prior to breastfeeding I will say breastfeeding bras they don't give you the nicest lift they don't give you the nicest shape which is why I don't mind wearing non-wired standard bras just because it gives you that little bit of summit summit still and then for bed I like to just wear 
sports bras so as to do a really good range of nice bras so it's basically like a bandeau with small elastic straps and then it's non-wide it's got a little bit of lace at the front as well which is really nice they're six pound each and i've got two and then i did with charlie i did buy actual nursing bedtime bras like they're basically a sports bra with a v here so you can obviously pull one side out but I found that because my boobs are so big when I lay to the side I wanted to kind of like move obviously and my breast pad wouldn't stay where it's meant to be and I'd leak um so I found a generic standard sports bra works just fine um I definitely definitely recommend them because they're just one layer there's no like overlapping or anything and it keeps your like breast pads in place throughout the night I think I've mentioned this before, but I like to use reusable breast pads and I just use the 100% cotton reusable breast pads. You can find them on eBay. I've bought Asda ones before. They've done me really good, apart from I kept on losing them. Um, but disposable ones, I like to use the Tommy Tippy ones. And then on the back, there is just like a peel bit that sticks into your bra, which I never, ever use. When you peel these off, like loads of brands do them, you're meant to peel it off and then you stick it to your bra. So when you like pull your bra down, obviously it stays. And then when you pull it back up, but... I never ever use them, I never really have used them. And also, in the beginning, I only, I always use two breast pads, like one in each boob. But now, because I never leak or I never get engorged as such, I just use one. So when you establish your milk pattern, it also helps with remembering which boob you last fed off. So say I last fed off this one, obviously I'll have it in this one, and then I'll take it out and I'll pop it in this one and feed off this one. So then when it comes to the next feed, I know that it's this boob that I have to feed her from because this pad is in here. So it really helps. So at the minute, I've got one in this in this boob so i know that i need to feed her off this one next time so when i go to feed her i just pop it in the other one and then my next feed i know i've got to feed her off this one so that super helps but i would recommend having reusable breast pads and all they are little cotton rounds just like this and then you pop them in like a netted bag just pop them through your washing machine they dry really really fast you can pop them on your radiator i pop them on the windowsill sometimes and you can buy really nice lace ones as well i'll link a couple of good ones down below in the description box but it just saves because you go through so many breast pads when you're breastfeeding if you're not planning on doing it very long then i'd recommend disposable ones because if you only want to breastfeed for say a couple of weeks or a couple of months you know it's not as much of a big issue but when you're going into like a few a few months or like over a year down the line i'd recommend reusable ones as far as public feeding goes this is one of the topics that puts people off breastfeeding but i am so confident in breastfeeding now like i don't really mind what where i do it how i do it i mean it has to come from my boobs but so while you're getting established with latching baby on and everything in the first few days or like the first few months of breastfeeding i'd recommend investing in some nursing tops now mother can have a really good nursing range i'd look online rather than in store just because in store is obviously a little bit limited depending if you're in like a town or a city so i would look online just type in nursing clothes so the first thing that i got is a pack of two nursing t-shirts this is crease because i've not worn it in ages but basically it's just a standard t-shirt it's actually not it's actually quite nice to be fair it it look nice with like jeans and converse but then as you can see it's got this panel here so basically you can just lift this little panel up if you can see so it's just got a panel in the middle that crosses over and you can just lift it up so if you're wearing a nursing bra you'll just unclip one boob and then you just lift this tiny little panel up and you'll just feed baby through this little gap the tip that i still use today is just a muslin square so obviously you're going to have these to hand anyway if you have a baby on you so a good tip is if you're wearing like a top or a t-shirt I will literally just pop a muslin square through my bra strap and then pull this down. I'm going to do it because you literally can't see anything. You literally just pull this down and feed baby. So you can't see anything. It still covers this part of your chest. And in fact, I'm actually showing less than what I was in my normal t-shirt. I just let this drape down and then I go ahead and feed Faye because she doesn't like this over her head and I don't like eating with something over my head. But with this down, it just means I've got something. So if she does come unlatched, I can just pull it across. Or if she's like fussing at the time, then it just gives me a little bit more coverage and it gives her a little bit of freedom to be able to move her head around, bob it around without me feeling like I'm going to show anything. Another really good tip with clothing is just to be cautious what you're wearing, obviously. Like for example, dresses and stuff, that's when it starts to get a little bit difficult. Like I wore a pinny with a top underneath and obviously that's when it gets a little bit fiddly because you're having to lift a top underneath the dress and then you've got a dress on so you're having to pull something down but a really good tip is to wear just a standard vest top underneath your t-shirt or to wear a nursing top 
of nursing vest underneath a normal t-shirt it just means that you can feed baby and your belly isn't exposed because you can just pull down your vest underneath and then you've got obviously the coverage around like your tummy and everything that's not on show but you've also got this top that you can lift up here so you've got like a whole cover underneath which I found really comfortable in the beginning especially when I still had like a lot of my tummy left I didn't want to sit there with my belly out and I would just wear a vest and then a t-shirt over the top and I'd just feed baby underneath my t-shirt you can actually get so many breastfeeding accessories which might have helped you or will help you you can get breastfeeding aprons you can get nipple shields to help with the feeding process if you've got sore or cracked nipples I actually used a nipple shield with Faye and I kept it in a little dentures tub that was filled with Milton water so what I would do is I'd feed her with it rather than like washing cleaning sterilizing as soon as I fed her I'd wipe it and then I'd pop it back in my Milton water ready for the next feed and then every 24 hours I just change the Milton water it just made it easy for me it was less stressful less hassle I can just take that around with me then if it's out and about I just take Milton wipes so I'd literally feed her wipe it with the Milton wipe and then pop it back in my little dentures tub. The reason I use a dentures tub is because it's small and it's just like a plastic little Tupperware but you could use any little plastic pot really and that's going to help your feeding and then make sure you've got a really good nipple cream to hand which I didn't use that much but it is always handy to use. So the Lanasol do little testers really like little sachets just a couple of them saw me through but i did invest in a 10 pound nipple cream as far as pumps go i like to use a tommy tippy closer to nature one as you can see it's got the power button in the middle and then it's got a setting one it's setting two and setting three because i've been breastfeeding for so long now i always have to have it on setting three otherwise i find that the suction is not strong enough so this is a little suction thing and then obviously it's got the pump that clips that goes straight onto your boob i don't actually have any pumping bras they're not something that i felt that i needed but I have thought about it a few times, so it's not something that I would think would go to waste if I did have one. I kind of wish that I did buy one. I do also have a double electric pump from eBay, which is about £15. It's super, super inexpensive. As a double, it's kind of not strong enough to get enough milk out of me now. But as a single, the motor's really good. So that means I've got two attachments then to use as a single. As a double, I mean, it could be used as a double, but I just don't find the motor strong enough. So what I will do is I'll pump one and then I'll use, I'll fill that bottle and then I will use the other attachment to pump the other boob and then it just means less sterilizing I can switch between the two attachments instead but if you're looking for a really affordable double then definitely check that out I'll have it linked in the description box below but that pump sees me good I still use it it's still really good I do prefer the Tommy Tippy one but as far as an affordable breast pump goes I think it's brilliant yeah it does say double but I would just recommend using it as a single and then just using the other head as a spare part as such when it comes to sterilizing breast pumps and parts I sterilise mine after every single use. I know a lot of mums don't do that. In fact, some mums don't even sterilise their breast pump at all. They just wash it. And I know a few mums that will pop it into a Tupperware box. Say if you plan to just express feed your baby, a lot of mums will pump they'll store the milk, they'll pop their breast pump into like a lunch box and put it in the fridge and by putting it in the fridge you're storing any leftover milk residue on your breast pump at the right temperature so it's not going to go bad and then what you'll do is you'll pump again the next feed and then pop it back into the fridge. I personally don't do that because I don't pump enough to justify doing that but it just means that you don't have to sterilise parts in between pumps which for a lot of working mums of like your full time if you're going to be pumping at work and you're not going to be getting enough each time to freeze a bottle of milk it does come in quite handy I'd say but I would recommend getting some Milton wipes as well because if you don't have like a fridge to hand or you don't have a sterilizer you can just wipe everything clean as far as out and about feeding goes I only took about six breast pads with me because I used to take so many in the early days and they really weren't needed in fact now I just have one spare breast pad in my bag to be fair the only reason that I keep one in my changing bag is because I always forget to put one in in the mornings in the beginning I was freezing my milk stood up so I was left with like an empty bag and then a big block of breast milk which took ages to defrost so now I will pump into my bottle and pour it into the bag and then I'll light flat in the freezer I'm left with a full bag of flat milk which defrosts way fa faster, it's easy to store, it takes up less room in the freezer so that's really helped and I always write on the date and the ounce on the bag just because some days when she's not as hungry or say if I feed her and then I know while I'm at work she's just going to need a small top up feed. It is always handy to have like a variety of ounces in the freezer so I generally will pump seven ounces for her because that's generally what she takes but it's always handy to have like a four, a five and an eight in there just in case. 
You can also buy attachments to your breast pump, which means you can attach a bag with a screw cap straight onto your breast pump, which I do have for work. So when I've got a pump at work to save me messing around with like a bottle and then pouring it into a freezer bag, and then I'll pop it in the fridge, and then when I get home from work, I can just pop it straight into the freezer. There's no messing around with bottles. I'm just a lot more confident in doing that because I'm just pumping straight into a bag. It's less hassle and less fuss. It's also less for me to sterilize and take to work. I think I've pretty much mentioned everything that I wanna mention in this video. If you are a breastfeeding mum, then comment down below because I'd love to talk to you. And if you're thinking about breastfeeding, definitely message me or comment down below as well because it's really nice to help people if you've got any questions or if you want to know anything about me or breastfeeding, obviously I don't know everything, but so far it's working quite well for me. If you want to know anything else, then just ask because I will be happy to answer. But that was all for this video. Please like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.